Okay, let's say you have an electric car, because you probably do if you're watching this, and you're planning a trip. Now you spend some time chasing around and just doing, you know, under two, three hundred mile journeys, and now you're thinking, what do I do on a longer trip? Well, there's a little app here called the Better Route Planner, ABRP. You can download that for absolutely free. And you can get the pro version, which gets, gives you some extra options uh, where you can put in multiple vehicles. Like I have my Chevy, which I click on here. And I can switch it to my Kia Nero if I want. But I'm going to switch back to the Chevy because my Chevy actually uh, can use Tesla chargers, which I will probably need on this trip. Um, if you can't use Tesla chargers, it'll actually... Uh, just route you to different charges, so it's not a big deal. So I'm going to figure out, let's see, let's go to Smithville. And the first thing I want to do here, because I'm sitting here on my couch, it's 11.22 p.m., I want to plan this trip for you know, tomorrow morning. So I'm going to click on the little lines here up to the right, and I'm going to change the time here. So it says departure, which would be tomorrow. But I'm not going to leave at 11.22 p.m. I'm actually going to change it to a.m. And let's go 7.22 a.m. And hit OK. And then save it. And where this is important, you'll see this in a second, I'm going to hit plan. So it's going to think about it for just a little bit here. OK. So now it's got me leaving at 7.22 a.m. I'll be in uh, Norwood, Iowa here. I'm going to charge for 40 minutes. And that's at 841. So that'll be a bathroom break probably while I'm charging. And I might get a cup of coffee. So that's, you know, within the 35 minute range. That shouldn't be too bad. And then uh, Ames, Iowa, I'll be there at 1045. Now I could stop there for dinner if I wanted to. Or I can move on here to Des Moines. So what's the difference there? Um, I think what I'm going to do at Ames, Iowa, is I'm going to go ahead and click on the little uh, liney bar-y things here. And I'm going to change the time to 55 minutes. I'm going to have dinner there. I'm going to beat the dinner rush there and I'm going to go ahead and save this and then I'm notice how the plan thing wants me to click on it so I'm going to go ahead and re-click there okay so it recalibrated my my time here so I'm going to get up to 80 percent charge while I'm eating lunch and I'm eating an hour early because as you know uh People are creatures of habit, and they will stop at noon, so I don't have to wait in line. Plus, 55 minutes is not really out of the range because, uh, you know, you find a seat, you wait for the waitress, and then she takes your order, and then you wait for your food, you eat your food, and then you wait for the bill. Uh, 55 minutes is going to be just fine. And uh, from there, I will get over to Lamani, Iowa, where I'll do a, a 39 minute charge. And there I am at my final location. So that's not too bad. And let us see. So we're going to spend uh, a little over two hours charging. So it's going to take more time. There's no way around it. If I was using a gas car, even though I'm stopping for dinner and all that, I probably wouldn't stop for two hours on the total route. I'd probably stop for about an hour. So it's going to take an hour longer than if I had a gas car. But um, there is the slight change uh, savings in, in amount it's going to cost me. Not much. Uh, fast charging, DC fast charging is about the same price as gas. So it's really not going to save me much money, to be honest. But it's doable. The whole thing here is it's doable. I can... Uh, I can get there just fine. It's not a problem. And once I get there, 
Um, the motel might have a plug-in where I can plug in. It's hard to say. We'll deal with that when we get there. But that's that's really all you have to to do here to um, use this route planner. And I, at this point, I would hit drive, and it would tell me uh, you know everything I need to know where to stop. Pretty much like uh, Google Maps or Waze or whatever you're using, uh, kind of get me down the road. This is an easy one because it's 35W all the way. So you just get on 35W and drive. And uh, there's numerous stops along the way where I wouldn't have to, um, I wouldn't have to use these stops specifically. You can alter from the plan. So anyway, that's really all that's to it. It's a, it's a pretty slick deal. You know, where you really get into an issue is, uh, let's do Miami, Florida here. And this is going to take a while because it's going to go through uh, all the various stops along the way. And that's quite a distance. Going from uh, Minnesota to Miami, Florida, you know, that's uh, that's a stretch. I'm just about to Cuba here, I'm right next to the Gulf de Mexico, which is the correct name. Um, so we're looking at 1,781 miles. So this is obviously not going to be done in one day. But here's all the stops. And so do you, what you would probably do is when you get to, let's say you get to Nashville, you would redo this plan from Nashville to Florida because more than likely in Nashville, you would probably charge or maybe Tennessee, you know, depends on where you plan on stopping. But here it charts it all out for you. And then you do the drive. And again, it'll lay out all the stops for you, give you all the directions, everything you need to know. So it's, it's a lot like using any other mapping software, except this tells you where you're going to charge, how long, so you actually can plan your daily activities around that. So all in all, it's actually a pretty good deal. And like I said before, you know, if, uh, if it seems like it's taking way too much time and that kind of thing, you should have a gas car. Drive the gas car on the long trips. Save big money with your EV, driving around town and all the other things. So anyway, that's uh, my take on uh, traveling with an EV.